superior mesenteric vein. This is a color doppler of the hepatic vein. This is also a picture of the portal vein with the confluence that begins with the union of the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. Note that the inferior mesenteric vein finish in the splenic vein. All the blood of the digestive system need to pass to be cleaned in the liver before re-enter in the IBC. Other picture here with the portal vein enter in the liver the right and the left portal vein. The liver take blood from the portal vein and the hepatic artery and the blood is out of the liver from the hepatic veins and enter in the inferior vena cava. Main portal vein, the, mon the main portal vein approach the porta hepatis. Remember the porta hepatis is the helium of the liver is where the part of the liver that enter the portal vein, the hepatic artery and also the bile ducts is near the gallbladder and is formed by the portal vein, the hepatic artery and the bile ducts is inside the hepatoduodenal ligament. Portal vein with the hepatic artery and the bile duct that is a continuation of the gallbladder. It comes in contact with the anterior su surface of the inferior vena cava near the porta hepatis and serve to locate the liver helium. This is in ultrasound the main portal vein division in right portal vein and left portal vein. You can see an echoic structure because are filled with blood. Right portal vein, left portal vein. Right portal vein, of course, for the right lobe, and left portal vein for the left lobe. Each branch of the portal vein go together with a branch of the hepatic artery and with a branch of the bile duct to every microscopic part of the liver. In this microscopic part of the liver, the liver clean the blood and make a lot of chemical function and after this process the blood let the liver through the right, the middle of the left hepatic vein that finish in the IVC. The right portal vein is the largest of the two branches, of course, because the right lobe is the bigger lobe. It's possible to identify the anterior and posterior division of the right portal vein on sonography with the right hepatic vein. The left portal vein is more anterior and cranial than the right portal vein. Here you can see the three portal vein. This is a part of the liver that sonographer calls the box bony this is not for doctors. This is a name that use sonographer. In this picture, that is a transversal picture, you can see the right, the middle, and the left portal vein entering in the IVC. Right portal vein, that is the posterior one, in the middle, the middle hepatic vein, and in the right side of the screen you can see the left hepatic vein anterior and in the left lobe. box bony right hepatic vein middle hepatic vein left hepatic vein and the IVC 
the right hepatic vein is the largest and enter in the right lateral aspect of the inferior vena cava. The middle hepatic vein is anterior and the left hepatic vein is the little one and enter in the la left side of the inferior vena cava. Portal veins are more echogenic border than hepatic vein. You can differentiate a portal vein and a hepatic vein because hepatic vein have not echogenic walls. The hepatic arteries give oxygenated blood from the aorta to the liver, of course, because the liver also needs oxygenated blood. Even the function of the liver is to clean the venous blood that coming from the digestive system need oxygenated blood that coming from the aorta through the hepatic artery. <laughs>